What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek.com. Today's video, we're gonna run through how to choose your initial ad group keyword bids, your ad group bids that trickle down your keywords. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We drop training videos daily and case study videos and all kinds of cool stuff. And check out the links in the description. There are link trees in there where there's a lot of cool things for you guys that you can check out and also a free Google Ads optimization course where I walk you through how to keep your, your Google Ads campaign is actually running smooth once you build them. All right, on to the video. So you're looking at actually inside of a client's account that I just built today. And this is a, an HVAC and plumbing call only campaign. So you can see here I've already set our ad group bids, but I'm gonna kind of show you how you should be choosing that, all right? And this is just my method, this is how I do it, and it seems to work pretty well. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's assume we don't have the ad group bid yet, so we have our keywords and we're gonna go based off of the uh, keyword themes, all right? So for furnace repair, for all the furnace repair ad groups and furnace ad groups, we're gonna just take the, the main theme keyword, which is furnace repair. All right, we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go up to, I don't think you'll be able to see this, the little wrench icon, tools and settings. And we're gonna come down here to keyword planner. All right, and that's gonna pull up your keyword planner. Now, if I already have this pulled up, so if we type in here, let's get rid of it. Let's put our main keyword here, which was furnace repair, get results. It's going to show us <clears throat> everything Google thinks is relevant to furnace repair. So let me get rid of my filter. You can see here I was doing a little keyword research before I started this video. Okay, so now we got our furnace repair keywords here. Let me see if I can move this over for you guys. Here we go. That's better. Okay, so we got our furnace repair keywords. Now Google's telling us to the top of the the top of the page bid, which is the low range. Kind of hover over here. It tells you it shows the lower range of what advertisers have historically paid for a keyword's top of bid bid page. <clears throat> All right, so that's eight sixty eight, and the high is fifty. So Google's saying the highest cost per click that they've seen in the historical average is about $50. So you can see here, if you come down the columns, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda just look for the keywords. See, furnace repair is our main one. Furnace repair near me, that's another $50 one. Gas furnace repair, which would be its own ad group, that's 40. Oil furnace repair, that would be another ad group, so that's 29. But we're just kind of gonna take the uh, an average of the highest top of bid, uh, page now you could I, I don't suggest doing the lower one all right because if you're bidding five dollars for the keyword or eight dollars and 68 cents for the keyword furnace repair you're not going to get much traction or impressions and um, you're going to be wondering why the hell you're not getting clicks and the client your client if you're running it for clients you're going to be wondering why the hell they're not getting clicks and it's been two weeks either because it's just too low of a bid you're not going to compete so if you don't want to pay 50 which a lot of people don't I know it's very high cost per click so if you watch any of my other videos, the bid strategy we usually run is maximize clicks where you set a bid limit cap. So what I would do here is I would start a little bit lower than the top of the page bid. So I would start my, my bids at like 40 bucks or like $41. And that would be my maximize clicks bid limit. I would set that at $41, which just means you're telling Google, hey, listen, you know, you guys go do your auto bidding for us. You take care of it, do all the heavy lifting, but I do not want you spending more than $41 per click. Now it's important if you're using an auto bid strategy like maximize clicks that you have a bid limit cap. Otherwise, Google will spend $150 on a click for something like this. It's outrageous. So make sure you have that. Now, if you're not running maximize clicks and you're running manual like we are in our campaign here, you just set your your ad group bids. So you have to kind of do it by ad group because not all ad groups are going to be $50 clicks. You know what I mean? So furnace repair, all right, we're bidding 5178 because I want to be competitive and I want to get calls right away from the client. So that's important. That's why I'm being extremely aggressive. And you can see here it's a very small budget, 75 a day. So I'm not expecting many clicks a week, but I want the phone calls. So I need the I need the calls to convert at least 25% for this to make sense. And they do. So that's why I built it this way. But my point is when you're when you're going through and finding your ad group bids, this is important to do it at the ad group. So we're not going to bid $50 for all of these ad groups in this campaign. All right? So we found our furniture repair cost. 
We're going to bid 51.78. That's just what I've decided to be aggressive. Now, like I said, you can, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just look at all the furnace repair type keywords. So if we just do, let's get in, let's filter by keywords. So we want repair. So we only want to see keywords with the word repair in them. All right, so 50, 50, 40, 29, 40. So what you could do also, if you don't want to be aggressive like I am with it, you could just take the top 10 of the top of page high range and average them together and use that as your ad group bid for whatever ad group you're working on. That's another way to do it. And I've done it that way successfully in the past too. And it's just, it's important to just keep an eye on it too. I mean, we could set this at 30 bucks. And if we're getting barely any impressions and no clicks, then obviously, and we have an impression share that's that's lacking. Let's say we're bidding forty thirty dollars for this key, for this ad group here, air conditioning replacement. And then we're like a week later, we're like, what the hell's going on? We're looking at it. We have like three impressions, no clicks. And then we go to the column search impression share, and we see that it says we're less than ten percent. Which you know, if you don't know what search impression is, go to our Click Geek playlist, and I have a whole video series on how to set up your look at your search impression shares. It basically just means less than 10% of the time your ads are showing when someone searches your keyword. That's all it really means. And that means, and that's because you're not bidding high enough. You're bidding too low and Google's just stepping right over you and going to the guy who's bidding higher and giving them all the traffic. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing that, but that's one way to do it. And I know it's a pain in the ass. You could just do what I did and I, because I need to launch this campaign fast. And I need calls immediately. I just took the high bid for my my main ad groups and I just I just ran it all the way down. They're all 5178 and I'll have to adjust down as I get more data in. But you can see that. So if we go to like plumber keywords, I mean they're gonna be probably way more than 50 bucks. <clears throat> let's just check that out. So let's just do plumber. And remember I have the repair filter on. Plumbing repair, 32. It's not too bad. Let's get rid of uh, the repair filter. So plumber, 38, 42, 41, 45, 35, 44, 42. So I should be really in the low 40s for the plumbing ad groups. But again, I'm being extremely aggressive because i got to launch this thing quick for this guy. So that's why I'm bidding high. But you can kind of get an idea of how I do this and how you guys can do it as well. It's just important to do it at the ad group level. Um, I know you're looking at me you're like, dude, you're not even doing it at the ad group level. But like I said, this is a, a little bit of a different scenario. I got to launch this guy quick. He's just switched over to a call only, so I'm being extremely aggressive. But you should just go take it an ad group at a time. Now, does that mean, all right, do I have to have a different ad group bid from plumber and plumbing company? Not really. I mean, I would just find the average, I would average the plumbing, the regular plumbing keyword ad group whatever that may be, 38, 42, whatever we just looked at. And I would just do them all like that for plumbing. You can always adjust higher when you get more data and stuff like that. And that would be the same for HVAC stuff. So for HVAC, all the HVAC ad groups, I would probably just find one average ad group, top of the like high page top, and I would use that for that. And the same for heating repair, furnace, and um, air conditioning and all that stuff. So that's that's pretty much a cool little hack you guys can use to just because i know a lot of questions we get are how do you know what to set your your bids at for your ad groups now some people will be watching this video and be like dude you are insane 50 dollars a click is wild that's just way too much start small then that's fine i mean this is just the way i do it because i need to get these people leads quickly i can't wait three weeks you know when we're a white label provider which most of our clients are and then we have retail as well retail i, I you know i gotta launch these things quick i can't set maximize clicks on and then put a you know a bid limit of nine dollars to get cheap clicks and see what happens in a few weeks these guys need leads now they need them in the next three days so that's why i'm being aggressive like that so i know if somebody's watched the video is more experienced than AdWords, they're like you're insane like why are you paying fifty dollars a click but that's why that's why i'm doing it all right so if you have the time if it's your own company or your own business and you're running ads for it you do not have to be aggressive like this start Start small. Start your ad group bids at you know ten bucks or whatever these are, the lower range of the pages. I would just do ten bucks for these and let it run and see if you can get some data and some conversions and then adjust from there if that's what you're more comfortable with. It really depends 
on how fast you got to launch your campaigns for yourself or for your clients because uh, that's in the end that's what it comes down to is you know ever is all about speed you need leads now you can't most people can't wait six weeks which is really what it should take to get a campaign dialed in and successful to uh, gather data and optimize the data and pause keywords and make bid adjustments make device adjustments and all that stuff all right so hopefully this video helped you guys if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below and again don't forget to check out the links in the description and I'm also going to I'm also going to put a link in there for our uh, Google Ads optimization course. It's a free, it's a free course for you guys. Check it out. It's how I optimize all of our client campaigns and my personal campaigns and everything we do and how to keep them running smooth once you build them.